guys, it's Robin, your independent Zensi consultant. Welcome back and welcome if you're new. Today I have got warm reviews of the holiday bricks. Uh, on the weekend I had done a video with Becky, my friend from the US, and we actually did first sniffs of the bricks together. So that was really fun. So you can go back and watch that if you have not. I've also got her cha channel linked to the, in the description box of that video. Um, but I actually warmed through them all over the weekend and into this week and I now have warm reviews of all five bricks as well. I'm also going to be going through everything else I've warmed in my house this last week or two. I've got some fallish kind of scentsy bars here, I've got a few vendor wax items, um, lots of fun stuff to get to. So stay tuned and we'll get some warm reviews going of all these various scentsy and vendor wax bars as well as all five of the holiday bricks. The holiday bricks are available for general purchase for everybody on October 17th, so in a few days here. And that will be starting at, I believe, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So I think there is queuing in place because a few other things are launching that day as well. We're also getting the Bring Back My Buddies that day. So there's Calypso the Unicorn, there's the Yeti, and there's also um, Hamish the Highland Cow. So those will be available for purchase as well, along with the retro warmers. So there's the red pickup truck with a tree in the back. There is the Cardinal Warmer. It's an element warmer. And there is the full size and the mini of the Christmas light warmer. It's a red warmer with little Christmas light bulbs in different colors around the edge. So those will all be available on the 17th as well, along with the five holiday bricks. Now the holiday bricks are $32 each in Canada. I believe they're 20 or 25 in the US. I'll put pricing below. Um, there will be bundle options available as well. So instead of purchasing one brick, you can purchase them in bundles of two. Um, so that is an option as well. And again, I'll put pricing information below so you'll get a sense of that. But there are five different brick scents and I'll go through those first because I've warmed them very recently and a lot of you are probably here to watch that part. Um, so the first one here is Frosted Petals. This one is the floral brick of the bunch. It is definitely a kind of slightly soapy springtime-ish to my nose floral. Um, I think it has like Jingle Bell Orchid and musk. It is a very clean, sort of soft, slightly cozy, perfumey, soapy scent. It's very pretty. I think you do have to like floral at least a little bit. But yeah, I like this one. This is one that I can get on board with. I almost get like sugared, almost like sugared grape, but some kind of sugared berry. Yeah, it's like a winter berry or maybe even a sugared grape. Um, it's very pretty. It's kind of like medium strength at first. It dies down quickly to like a light medium and it lasts about a 24 hour time period. So it's not a terribly long last. It's about a fairly average performer. Um, does about average strength, average throw, average performance and duration. Overall, I do like this one. I can see myself warming more of this maybe in like late winter, early spring. It kind of has like February, March vibes to my nose. So there is Frosted Petals. Overall, this is one that I am glad I have. I will probably not repurchase it because I don't think I'm going to need more than this one brick. Um, but after I make samples, we'll see where I'm at. I might get another one. Next, we have Caramel Chestnut. This one is the one of the bakery ones. This one's the most bakery of the bricks. And this one is like caramel and chestnut, and I can't remember what else. I'll put notes below. To me, this one smells like there's a fireplace on in the room. It's got kind of a slightly woodsy, almost embery type note. It's like sweet wood. It's a little bit dry, but very, very, like very, very sweet and caramely. But to my nose, the caramel here reads marshmallowy, which I actually really love. I like this one a lot. And I did this one the day before Thanksgiving. And I did two cubes in my open area. So half a cube in each warmer. And I will say, out of all of my Thanksgiving guests, most people did not care for this one. Um, I really like this one and it was what I had in the warmers. And then people are like, okay, well, like, I like what you have going right now. And I was like, well, that is actually this. <laughs> so it does smell different on warm. If you get this and don't love it in the brick, you might like it better warm. To my nose, it smells like you walk in and it's a sweetness in the air along with the smell of like a fireplace going, like a wood burning fireplace going. Um, very nice kind of it's not smoky but it does smell like a fireplace is on so i really like it it's a little bit a little bit cinnamony not overly so i don't get a ton of spice here just a little bit 
I get this kind of like embery toasted marshmallow coziness. Um, I really, really enjoy it. Not terribly long lasting. I would say 15 hours, like a, a one day type scent. Um, strength wise, about a medium. It did, it was quite, it was maybe a medium plus in the beginning, but it did taper down to like a, a medium fairly quickly. Um, so about, you know, average-ish in performance, a little, maybe a little bit below average in duration. Um, but overall, I will repurchase another one of these bricks. I really like this one. Um, like I said, my guess, this was the least favorite of the, of it. Um, my husband actually strongly disliked this one. When he sniffed it, he was like, ugh. But um, again, on warm, he didn't mind it. So this is one I think you do have to warm to really get a good sense of. But I really enjoy that one. Next, we have Icicles and Evergreen. This is one that is available in the current fall winter catalog. It was available as a scent of the month last winter, and now we have it in the brick as well. This is a very, very popular scent. It is a sweet, slightly perfumey pine tree scent. I think there's like sugar crystals and like musk in the notes. Um, yeah, I would say it's like a fresh woodsy pine tree scent. Um, there is a perfuminess to this one. It is a sweet perfuminess. And strength-wise, I would categorize this one as strong. Um, definitely open layout worthy. Um, I did this in my bedroom. I did half a cube, as you can see. And this was like blow you out of the room strong, like eight or nine out of 10, very strong. Um, throw was about average. It didn't throw out of the room really, but it was very strong. To the point where I actually had to like open a window because it was too strong, to be honest. Um, I actually found myself like wanting to get out of that room because it was very strong and I'm not really a pine tree scent person at the best of times. Um, so if you're looking for a boomer kind of pine tree type scent, this is it. Personally, I do not care for this one all that much and because it is so strong, I find it hard, hard to deal with. Um, but if you like the scent, it's a very, very good performer. I do remember this being a good long lasting one as well, like a couple days. I did not do this for a couple days. I actually could not sleep with the scent going. I removed it from my warmers and put something else in. So longevity wise, I can't speak to this brick because I, I had to take it out. But strength wise, very strong. To my nose, too strong. But again, good performer. If you like those kind of sweet pine tree scents. I would say like 95% of people love this scent. Um, it's extremely popular, very good seller. Most people love it. It's a crowd pleasing scent. It is just not for me. So, I mean, if you're on the fence and like pine tree scents in general, I think you will like Icicles and Evergreen. Um, it's just not for me. Next, we have Winter's Eve. And this is, I would categorize as a fresh type bar. This one has, I think, pine tree in the notes as well as like bergamot and like some cologne type notes. So it is a, a dark navy wax and it's kind of like a fresh, like almost eucalyptus and mint type scent. And this was actually my least favorite. This one got destroyed. I don't know what happened here. This one was my least favorite when Becky and I did our first sniffs. Um, I think it was both of our least favorites. This one is a lighter, maybe light medium, um, cologne-ish fresh type scent. Not my favorite on cold. I did warm it anyways. I did half a cube in each bathroom. So I did it twice in both bathrooms, or I did it once in each bathroom, so twice in total. Half a cube in each bathroom. Um, I like this better on warm. This one to me went from cologne to eucalyptus mint on warm. So the coloniness definitely died down very quickly and it was just kind of a soft eucalyptus mint scent. Very akin to like eucalyptus wreath or maybe blue sage and tonka, but more like eucalyptus wreath to my nose. Um, it was okay. Again, not my type of scent. I don't love it, but I did like it much better on warm. Um, than I thought I would. And that was because it wasn't overly strong. Um, the thing that I think saves this one, at least for me, is that it is maybe a medium at peak and then goes down to like a light medium quite quickly. Um, it's lasting a good two days. Like it's doing okay performance wise longevity, but it is not a strong scent and that I am okay with. So if you like those eucalyptus fresh type scents, this might be one you would really enjoy. It definitely does smell wintry to me. So I do agree with this being a winter scent. I don't necessarily think it smells like a holiday scent, that being said. Um, I don't get holiday from this, I get more winter, so maybe before or after the holidays. But either way, this is definitely a bathroom scent for me. This isn't the type of scent I typically do in my open layout or anything like that, um, but it is okay if you like fresh scents or if you like 
cologne type scents or slightly masculine scents, I think you'll enjoy this. Um, as long as you aren't hoping for a very, very strong scent, it is a good one. Um, this is not what I'm going to repurchase. I do not care for the scent enough, nor will I use the scent enough to justify getting more of it. I have more than I'll ever need in this brick. So this one is all right for me, much better. It was a pleasant surprise after I warmed it because I enjoy it much better than I thought I would. But again, I definitely don't need more. Last but not least, we have Maraschino Sugar Cookie, and I did this in the open layout yesterday. I did two half, two like two cubes total, half a cube in four warmers. So this one is also strong and very, very delicious. So this one, this one is also a crowd pleasing scent, I think, as long as you like bakery, this one's kind of like a bakery fruity scent. So instead of giving us a straight up fruity scent, last year they gave us Pink Poinsettia, it was just a fruity scent. This year they gave us Maraschino Sugar Cookie, which is also fruity, but it's kind of fruity bakery. So I am happy with that decision, that works for me. That way if folks don't like caramel chestnut, they can go with Maraschino Sugar Cookie and still get a kind of bakery type scent. Um, this one's delicious and it is very strong. Now cherry, Maraschino Cherry, might scare some people if you've never smelled this. As long as you're okay with like a bright fruity cherry, you're gonna be okay. We're not talking medicine cherry, we're not talking cough syrup, we're not talking almond extract cherry or anything like that. This is bright fruity cherry, very bright and sweet, along with sugar cookie. And it's strong, I would say eight out of 10 at peak. Is it long lasting? Not really, it's a one day type scent like less than 24 hours, like put it in in the morning, it's finished by evening type scent, but it's very, very good, like very good. So I really enjoyed this, will definitely repurchase. I'm going to get another one of these bricks and then this is probably gonna go in my club as well. If you liked red, white and berry pie from the June or July scent of the month, you'll enjoy this as well, I think. So highly recommend this one if you're a bakery fan at all. And that is the bricks. So now we'll just get into the what I've been warming portion of everything else that I've warmed over the last week or two. So I've been doing a very large pumpkin wax war. So for bedrooms, office, and well bedrooms in the office, um, I've been mostly doing wax war stuff. So you're not going to see those bars today, but I have been warming those as well. So we will just kind of hop into what I've been doing in our bedroom. The first thing is on the day the Hocus Pocus 2 movie came out, I did my whole house in Hocus Pocus scents. So I had done Black Flame Candle from Vintage Chic Scents. I had got this in one of her samplers on Etsy. And this one is Blackberry Jam Butter Cookies, Gooey Marshmallows, and Campfire. And this one was a very delicious blue blackberry note. The blackberry jam note from her is like amazing. Like delicious, gooey, sweet blackberries. Um, you do get, get, did get marshmallow as well. And it was just a nice sweet kind of blackberry bakery scent. I really enjoyed this. I would say it was maybe a light medium in strength and about an average in duration. It was about a day and a half, two days in the warmer. I did this twice, it was a little pumpkin. I cut it in half and did it twice. So there was that, really enjoyed that. I would definitely repurchase this scent. Then I did Best in Snow. Wasn't feeling great and this is my go-to bar for if I'm not feeling great. This one is no longer available. It was available last year. Um, and it is in my club. It is like a wintergreen spearmint peppermint type scent. Just very clean and soft. Not overly strong, just very pleasant and soft. So there is that one, nice and minty and sweet and soft and fresh. Then I did My Wish. This was my rescue bar the night I put um, icicles and evergreen in my bedroom. Again, I couldn't take it. It was just way too strong for bed. So I took that out and put My Wish in as a palette cleanser because I know I love My Wish. This one is Violet Marshmallow and Fig and it is just a beautiful, sweet, marshmallowy, like sweet marshmallow violet. It is a nice like light medium to medium scent and a nice performer as well. I love this one, one of my all time favorite Scentsy bars. It is in my club. Then in my daughter's room on Hocus Pocus Day, we did Vintage Chic Scents, I Smell Children. This one is candy corn cupcakes and my daughter picked this one out for her room. This one I only did a little chunk of, so there's some left still. This one's just good. It is like very, very sweet. I would say just very sweet. Cakey, frostingy goodness. So there's that one. That one was quite light, if I remember right. 
um, and definitely a one dayer. Then we did vanilla bean buttercream in her bedroom. This was just two cubes to finish a bar. She just wanted something sweet and just kind of basic. And vanilla bean buttercream is always a good choice for that. So this one, again, not a very strong performer. It was like a light medium and maybe a day or two. So that was very pleasant while it lasted. And then I had this old bar of maraschino sugar cookie from the Whiff Box last winter. So I went ahead and finished it and I did that in her room. And so the same day that I had maraschino sugar cookie going in the open layout here, I also did it in her bedroom with these two cubes. Just to compare the aged version to the brand new brick. And what I found was they lasted about the same amount of time. I would say the brick was a little bit stronger, but that could just be because I had more of it going because it was in the open area. Um, this one was more cookie than the brick. The brick was is freshly poured, so it was more like fruity bright cherry. Whereas in this one, the cookie note had really kind of developed and become like a nice butter sugar cookie note. Yeah, so that was nice. It it, it got very pretty with time. So. I can say that maraschino sugar cookie ages very nicely, at least for a year. Then on to the open layout. So I had done, again, Hocus Pocus Day. My friend Becky had sent me My Lucky Rat Tail from Vintage Chic Scents. This one is blueberry cheesecake, apple fritters, and sugar cookies. And so she had sent me three little shapes. So I put one in each of my three warmers. Then in my fourth warmer, I did Sanderson Sisters which is green apple, caramel, candy corn, and marshmallow. These are both amazing. So My Lucky Rat Tail is a very good blueberry scent. It is similar to the blueberry cheesecake, like, well, not, not to blueberry cheesecake. It's similar to the blueberry note in blueberry cheesecake from Scentsy, but this one, this one had a little bit of that, that apple fritter note, so like almost a more bakery tone and it did not have the tartness of the cheesecake that I get from Scentsy's. This was a sweeter version and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, very, very delicious. My husband really liked this one too. I would definitely repurchase this. This was a winner, um, a one day scent, but very, very nice. Then Sanderson Sisters, this is one of Becky's favorites, I know, and I can see why. So I did about half of the chunk she sent and saved half for later. This one's very good. So this one, yes, green apple is what I mostly get. You do get caramel. And I don't know if I get candy corn. It might just be like a butterscotchy type note I'm getting. And the marshmallow, yes, it's a very sweet, sweet caramel apple, butterscotchy goodness scent. It's so good. So this one I put in the warmer right next to where I sit and watch the movie. So this one was really fun too. So that I would absolutely repurchase. That was amazing. Um, again, about a one day type scent. And I would say that one was on the lighter side, at least for me, but that could be because it was out masked by the um, My Lucky Rat Tail. I also did maple rum cake in my open area this week. It was, this is from the um, Harvest Trio. And this one's kind of a spiced molasses cake type scent to me. Um, it was quite strong and it was, I think I got two days out of this one. I did, I got two days out of this one. So this one did quite well. Um, longevity wise and strength wise it was much stronger the first day of course but you could still smell it the second day whatever spice note was in cozy vanilla and pumpkin is also the spice note in here they have a note in common for sure um more prominent on the second day in maple rum cake and in v cozy vanilla and pumpkin actually that that note came out more the second day on both of those bars so definitely has something in common i'm not sure i like that note I love the scent. I'm not going to buy more of it. I think I'm good, but it's that, I don't know what it even is. It's kind of like a, it's definitely a spice note of some kind, but I can't place it. It's not a spice note I've smelled anything else have in Scentsy. So I'm not sure about that. They're, they must be trying something with that this season. Um, but yes, this one was very pleasant. It was very nice on warm. If you're not sure about this one on cold, Make sure you warm it because it does get much better on warm to my nose and it was a good performer. So there's that one. Liked it, I'm glad to have had it, probably won't buy more. Then I did another bar of warm pumpkin drizzle. This is the October scent of the month and it is like, I think there might be maple, I can't remember. I get a little maple, not much. I mostly get pineapple cake, like pineapple upside down cake. 
it's very good, very sweet, um, very bakery. I really enjoy this one. It does a good 24 hours and is very pleasant. And a good thrower in my space too. This one is a good medium plus in strength, at least in my house. Then I did Halloween Town. This one is from the like Nightmare Before Christmas line. And this one I think is like berries and pumpkin. I think so. It's very nice. This one is like, how do you describe this one? It's not overly pumpkin. So if you don't like pumpkin, you might be okay. It's a very hard to place berry. And it's almost got a little bit of like, almost a little bit of body care and almost a little bit of spice, but it's not a lot of any of those things. It's just a very nice kind of well-blended, well-balanced scent. I really enjoy it for this time of year. I have repurchased that scent. I don't club that scent, but I do repurchase it when I see it. The next thing I did was Pumpkin Tiramisu and Bright Cider Life, and I did a mix. I only had six cubes left of Pumpkin Tiramisu, so I did two cubes in three of my warmers, and then the warmer beside where I sit, I did two cubes of Bright Cider Life. This was so good. Bright Cider Life, I know I love. It's one of my favorites. It is like apple pumpkin, almost like a brown sugar bakery type scent. I think there's apple in the notes. Yeah, there is apple in the notes. Um, Sensi says it's fruity. I think it's bakery. It's delicious. Good performer. I find it to be relatively strong and at least average duration. Pumpkin tiramisu. I don't remember warming the last two cubes. I must have done that last year sometime. But the six cubes here were like pumpkin butterscotch. It was delicious. Yes, this was very delicious. It was almost like pumpkin... It was a very sweet caramely type scent and a different caramel note than I've smelled anything else in scents you have. So again, they had a different caramel note here. I've never smelled it again or since and I liked it. I wish they would use it again in something. That was nice. So pumpkin tiramisu, this was available I think a few years ago and I got this bar on the black market to try and I thought I should probably use it because it's getting old and I'm glad I used it because it was very delicious. So if we ever see this one in voting, this would be a decent one to vote back. It was a good performer, at least 24 hours. I think I might've gotten longer out of it. It might've been a two dayer. I think I did leave it two days because it was like a rare bar that I can't get more of. So yes, I don't think it lasted the full two days, but a good day and a half anyways. Very, very nice. I would repurchase that for sure if I saw it. And finally, on Thanksgiving here in Canada, well, we did our dinner on the Saturday. Thanksgiving in Canada is on Mondays. It's always on a Monday. Um, I personally don't want to cook a big dinner on a Monday and then go to work the next day. So what I do is I have our dinner on Saturday and then we have two days to eat leftovers. So that's what we do. Um, so on the Sunday, so the day after we had our dinner, I put in It's Fall Charlie Brown. And this was a gift from my friend Becky as well. This is from, I think, Sassy Girl Aroma. This is apple, pumpkin strudel, and zucchini bread. And you did get all the notes in this. I would say at the beginning, it was mostly zucchini bread. And then as time went on, you got more of that apple and pumpkin strudel. And it was so good and so well balanced. And I did get apple and pumpkin and strudel and zucchini bread. It was delicious and homey and inviting. Loved this, I would get more of that too. So that is what I have warmed in my home over the last couple weeks. I hope that was helpful. And again, as far as bricks go, changes after, I had ranked them in the video I did with Becky after first sniffs, and I'm gonna re-rank them now. So I had put maraschino sugar cookie in first place in that video, and maraschino sugar cookie still gets first place from me. Um, that stays in my number one spot. Caramel chestnut stays in my number two spot. That one stays the same. Frosted Petals is still gonna stay in my number three spot. That one stays the same. But I am going to switch. I had put Winter's Eve in last place and Icicles and Evergreen in fourth. Those are switching. So Icicles and Evergreen is now going into fifth place. I couldn't even tolerate warming this one fully and thoroughly. So that one has to go in fifth place for me because I couldn't even keep it in the warmer. Um, Winter's Eve will now take fourth place. This one was much more pleasant than expected on warm. So my last two switched plays. Other than that, my rankings stay the same. Other than that, hope you guys are having a good week and I hope all of my Canadian friends had a lovely Thanksgiving. I will talk to you guys in the next video. See you next time. Bye.